Hi, in this program, we are going to be calculating anagrams. Anagrams are different words that can be made from the same letters. You commonly come across anagrams in things like crosswords and stuff. So let's write a Python program which will calculate the anagrams. So this is how the program would work. We enter some letters or a word and the program will tell us all the different words which can be made with the same letters. So in this case, listen and silent are both anagrams. So how do we go about writing this code? Well, first we need a list of words and I've got a file here which has the most common English words. So we're going to check for valid words. We'll see if it is present in this list. Next, there are two ways we can approach this problem. And in this video, we'll see both the ways. The first is we can take all the permutations of the input. And in Python, there's a helpful module called iter tools, which will help us to do that. Iter tools has a function called permutations where you give it an input and it will return the output as all the permutations of that input. You can see that it returns the output as tuples. If we want the output as string, we can do this. So this gives us all the permutations of the input as a string. Now we can just go through this list and check if any of these permutations is a valid word or not. Okay, so let's write the code for that. The first thing we need to do is get a list of words. We have to read the file. Okay, so this will read the file and give us the list of words. Now we'll get the letters from the user. And we'll go through we'll input this and then remember that we get a tuple so we'll convert that to a string and then we check if that particular permutation is present in our list of words or not. If it is present, we'll print it out. Okay, let's run this and see. So you can see it works. We entered listen and it has taken every possible combination of the letters that we inputted and check to see if any of those combinations is there in our list of words. And it has found that listen and silent were both there in our list of words. So that is one approach to solve this problem. Let us now take a look at another approach. Now in this approach, what we're going to do is we're going to calculate something called a signature of a word. A signature is nothing but the letters in the word, but they're going to be sorted. So for example, if I take listen, the signature of this word is going to be E I 
एल एन एस टी ओके सो इट इज ऑल द लेटर्स इन दैट वर्ड बट इन अ सॉर्टेड वे एंड सेम वे इफ आई टेक साइलेंट since silent also has the same letters it is going to have the same signature so for silent also e i l n s t is going to be the signature so all the words which are anagrams are going to be having the same signature because they are both all these words are made with the same letters so the first part is we are going to calculate the signatures for all the words in our word list and we are going to store these signatures in a dictionary so the key will be the signature and the value will be all the words which have that signature so for e i l n s t that's the signature and the value will be listen comma silent okay so we're going to create a dictionary like this it will have all the possible signatures and what are the words which correspond to that signature now for some signatures there may be just one word because that word doesn't have any anagrams but for some other signatures like e i l n s t it's going to have multiple words okay all the words which correspond to that signature then when the user inputs their letters we will calculate the signature of their input and we will see what all words match that signature and those are our anagrams okay so this is the second approach so let's try this out first we need a function which will calculate the signature so we'll give it a word and it has to return the sorted letters in it and we'll return this as a string okay so that will give us the signature now we need to go through the entire dictionary of words that we have we have all these words and we are going to calculate the signatures for all these words and store it in the dictionary so we'll go through each of the words and then we'll get the signature of that word and then we'll store it in our dictionary so once we calculate the signature in that listing of that signature we'll add this word as well in that list Now instead of using an ordinary dictionary i'm going to use a default dictionary okay so now that we calculated all the signatures now when the user input something we can calculate the signature and then from our dictionary we can print out all the entries which are there against that signature so all the other words 
which have that same signature. We run the anagrams and if we type listen, it will calculate the signature for listen and then it prints all the words which have that same signature. So that gives us the anagrams of the word. Let's try another word. Impression and those are the anagrams.